Hey, it's Darius, and I'm on the CPA exam Facebook groups every day. And I love reading about when you pass and thank me for I-75. But what do you think is the most common question I answer every day? Which discipline should I take? And here's the answer. If you already passed reg and you enjoy entity tax, especially tax planning for entities, choose TCP. If not, but you already passed FAR and you like random calculations and formulas, then choose BAR, Business Analysis and Reporting. Otherwise, choose ISC, Information Systems and Controls. No calculations at all. Either way, I-75 will have you prepared for all parts of the CPA exam. Just go to i75cpareview.com. We always have a special, so go to i75cpareview.com. Get yourself on the right road with me, Darius Clark, because the right teacher makes all the difference. Cloud computing, you know it's going to be on your CPA ISC exam. So let's start with the basics. Cloud computing is where an entity uses a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than keeping that data on a local server or an in-house network. Cloud computing is a rather recent phenomenon and before everyone had to keep their own data on a local server or in-house network or on their one and only PC. And as a result of that, people would have to travel with their own computer sometimes if they wanted to access their data while they were on the road. But with cloud computing, an entity uses a network of remote servers and these servers are hosted on the internet. And now your data is stored there in some remote place that you can log into from anywhere. A cloud-based system is a virtual data pool that is often managed by a third-party data storage provider. Because of cloud computing, just about everyone has a cloud-based system now. A cloud service provider is a vendor who provides cloud services such as Amazon, Dropbox, and these cloud service providers offer network services, infrastructure, or business applications in the cloud on remote servers. Remote servers means that the servers can be accessed by companies or individuals using network connectivity, which means if you go on a trip and stay in a hotel, you can go downstairs to the business center and use the hotel's computer and just log in to your own network and data remotely because it's stored in the cloud. You have a cloud-based system. You're using cloud computing and you're contracting with a cloud service provider. An entity may purchase different types of cloud-based systems depending on what they need. What type of cloud-based systems are out there? Well, there's infrastructure as a service, IAAS. And IAAS provides basic computer resources to customers such as servers, routers, storage, and networking. The I in IAAS stands for infrastructure. So infrastructure as a service saves the company from incurring those fixed costs of having to go out and buy servers, routers, storage, and networking. Examples of IAAS include Amazon Web Services, Rackspace, and DigitalOcean. Other cloud-based systems and storage that are available include Platform as a Service, PAAS, the use of the cloud to create software. With PAAS, customers provided with a computing platform, including operating system and a runtime environment for creating cloud-based software. The runtime environment includes programming languages and other tools supported by the vendor. Examples of platform as a service include Windows Azure by Microsoft, Salesforce.com's Force.com, and the Google App Engine. So if a customer of Microsoft signs up for Windows Azure or a Salesforce customer signs up for force.com, they have access to operating systems and developmental tools that allow the customer to develop, run, and manage applications in the cloud environment, which result in less complexity and less cost. So to review what we did so far, using platform as a service, PAAS, that's a virtual launching point for the development of software and web-based applications that are going to serve an entity's unique needs. Using IAAS, infrastructure as a service, the customer receives basic computer resources, such infrastructure as servers, routers, storage, and networking. So we'll use PAAS if we wanna launch our own applications in the cloud, and we'll purchase IAAS if we want 
access to basic computer resources. And then there's software as a service, SaaS, the use of the cloud to access software, not to develop software, that's PaaS, but the use of the cloud to access software, SaaS. With software as a service, the customer receives remote access to software such as Microsoft Office 365 for office productivity needs like word processing, PowerPoint, Excel, rather than purchasing software and having it on your hard drive. With SaaS, you subscribe to the software and receive remote access to it. Now on the exam, look for a question like this. Platform as a service is the use of the cloud to what? One, create software and programs in a cloud-based environment. Yeah, because PaaS is about the use of the cloud to create software. One looks good. How about two? Access proprietary software such as Microsoft Office without purchasing and owning the software directly. Nope, two is wrong. It's SaaS, not PaaS, that would allow access to proprietary third-party software such as Microsoft Office without purchasing the software directly. So PaaS, one only, letter A. How about this? Which of the following is not a major type of cloud computing usage? A, platform as a service and software as a service. No, they both are, right? You got PaaS and SaaS. Don't pick A. B, infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. No, they both are. You got IaaS there for letter B and PaaS, so don't pick B. We're looking for something that's not a major type of cloud computing usage. How about C, hardware as a service and system as a service? Yeah, what's that? That's not not major types of cloud computing usage. So C looks good. D, software as a service and infrastructure as a service? No. C is our answer because the major types of cloud computing usage are PaaS, IaaS, and SaaS, and the S stands for software, not system. How about this? The use of the cloud to access a virtual data center of resources, including a network, routers, and storage, is called what? One, platform as a service. Is that PaaS when we use the cloud to access a virtual data center like networks, routers? No. Two, is that software as a service? No. Infrastructure as a service? Yes, three only, and that's choice D. The use of the cloud to access a virtual data center of resources, including a network, routers, and storage, that's IaaS. The use of the cloud to access Microsoft Office 365 is an example of and if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And remember to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out a lot. And what you just saw was an actual video from the I-75 ISC course. If you need a little more help with cloud computing or any part of the ISC exam, get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, because the right teacher makes all the difference.